Zabuski. We went to Larry Zabuski. <laughs> Even uh, I can't pronounce that. Yes, he has one of the most hard to pronounce names of all time. Zabisco? Zabisco, yes. Yeah. He was uh, from like the 80s and the 70s. He mm-hmm. was the protege of one of the biggest wrestlers. Of, like the, the Hulk Hogan of the era was Bruno San Martino. He was mm-hmm. awesome. And he was uh, like the like the biggest baby face at, at the time. Yeah. And then... Um, no. Oh, wait, I counted. Yeah, I took them both out. Yeah. Uh, and then he uh, turned heel on Bruno San Martino and became like the most hated guy in all of like Texas. Like Aww. people would like fucking... Someone tried to like someone stabbed him on the way to the ring once. Oh my god! So people like fucking fucked up his car and like like he was legit like people legitimately hated him. That's it's dis- crazy. That's, really, that's disturbing. It shows us how fucking far Connor? wrestling has come. Connor from the Ascension. Not Connor McGregor. Not Connor McGregor. Ooh. That's, a, that's a C. Oh shit, AJ. Yeah, you fight Zabisco. I'll fight AJ. Um. All right. Favorite pop of up. Favorite pop of up I have ever seen was. I'd say Battleground 2016. Person like uh, 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 mm, I feel yeah, I'd say that. Yeah. Because even though I was in Africa at the time and couldn't like watch it like live, yeah. When I watched back, I was like, there like wasn't a really like that much like there weren't like any bad matches besides that besides the Miz one. Yeah. Like there weren't like any like really bad matches in that in that whole pay per view. So. Yeah. Oh, this goes out and, already. Um, Fuck! I'm gonna waste my shit. I oh. asked James about it the next day because I was in Scotland at the time. That's right. Yeah. And I was like, please tell me what happened. I feel so disconnected and alone over here. <laughs> um, I was talking to you. Yeah. Ugh, okay. Cool. Um. Okay. Favorite on-screen personality. Uh. I fucked up. Um, announcers of all time or uh, yeah. okay announcers uh okay, I mean announcers questioner like interviewers yeah. um GMs commissions God um I guess it depends on what era you're talking about um you know what I'll say I love I love the bits in the ad era with the Rock and Jonathan Coachman they had the funniest like on screen like uh, uh relationship like. Coaching would say something like cringy and like white, even yeah. though he's black. He would say something like cringy and dumb, yeah. and the rock would like call him out in like spe- in like spectacular fashion, like yeah. "What in the blue hell are you doing?" <laughs> Shit like that. It's so funny. Was he the one who was like, uh, "Calisto"? Was like, "That's disgusting." I didn't actually mean that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's like, "You less, you, you less sticking microphones up cows' rectums, don't you?" And he's like, "Rock, it was just one time." <laughs> it's like, "Whoa." You want to just admit that? The Rock was kidding. I was joking. You admit that? What the hell's wrong with you, sick freak? <laughs> that was so funny. And that one time, he for some reason starts singing uh, the Copacabana song, and he was like, That's "Sweet true. cream on an ice cream sandwich. What in the blue hell are you doing?" <laughs> it's, uh, so funny. I already know the answer to this next so one. I'd say okay. If I had to pick announcers, I'd say Moro Manalo. It's awesome. Of or Jim Ross. Yes. Um, but like, cause like Moro, like he has a personality, obviously. But like, yeah. you know, as far as like person, you wouldn't think of him when you think of like personalities. Yeah. I'd say either him or like Shane. Shane's great. Yeah. Or um, by Spy Eliminated Stone Cold. As you should. As he flips me off. Oh, somebody gonna... eliminated AJ. Yeah, it was uh, I think it was I think it was Connor actually. Jesus. Oh damn. That's fucking brutal. Um, yeah, I'd say uh, Moro. or I'd say Mick Foley, but Mick Foley in like the first time he was GM. He was like, a, he was like funny and like wasn't super serious and screaming at people all the time. When was he first GM? I don't remember what year, but it was like it, he had like a thing with Edge and Christian for a while. It was like he had, his his office was like in a broom closet and shit, and he was like oh. super and he was being a cool guy. That's awesome. Yeah, so I think that that Foley is better than Foley. Yeah. Ooh, it's Tatanka, her, I don't know the that fucking is. Native American wrestler from this nineties and eighties, eighties mostly. That's racist. Well, um, I think he actually was Native American in real life, so okay. it's all right. Um. Favorite manager, Jim Cornette. Uh, it's a it's a tough it's a tough draw between Jim Cornette and Paul Bearer. I'll say Jim Cornette just because Paul Bearer was like, you know, he yeah he was a manager and he was a good manager, but you know he was kind of like attached to the Undertaker. There wasn't much he could do outside of. And also Kane. Right, but again they go hand in hand. You know, yeah. like he didn't like he did manage other people. Bye, Tanaka. He didn't, he didn't man, he did manage like other people outside of Taker and Kane. Yeah. But, but like he's known for that. He's yeah. like he's more known as like as like a personality more than like a manager. Yeah, but I mean um, you can just see, see the same Barry Corman. You can see the same thing about Jim Cornette. With no, the Jim Cornette choice. like managed a ton of people. Like he was okay. his name wasn't a, like people know him best as the Midnight Express, mm-hmm. but he's he, he his name is not like 
forever attached to anyone in particular, I feel okay. like. Um, like, obviously, people know Paul Heyman for Brock Lesnar, but, like, he, he managed, he managed like, a lot of people before that. Yeah. Um, I don't think... I feel like he's kind of attached to Bork these days. These days, absolutely. I mean, that's his job, basically. Yeah. Um, but, like, in the old days, Paul Lee dangerously, like, managed a ton of people. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. But, um... Jim Cornette managed, like, the Midnight Express, the Heavenly Bodies, the Lentai team managed. He managed, uh, Yokozuna in WWE, who was, uh... He was a good mix. He had a sumo wrestler. I don't remember this. I think I don't know about him. He was Samoan, but they said he was from China, from from Japan. Cesaro. He yeah, was Samo. He was Samoan, but they said he was, they said he was like Chinese, Japanese, or whatever. I have no memory of this. Okay. Man. Anyway. Uh, well, you, well, yeah, but you don't remember me. You don't remember me like telling you about him or nope. anything or no? Okay. Whatever. Um, but yeah, he managed him for a while. He's known for that. So like, I think he has more of he, as far as like managing goes, he has probably a, a bigger repertoire than uh, nice. Paul Bearer does. Yeah. Just, you know. So I'll say. Him. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when he uh, when he came back for WrestleMania, uh, people were asking like, would he come back to and would he like join NXT and like maybe manage the revival or something? Because mm-hmm. uh, he, he he likes the revival a lot. Yeah. Like, he thinks like, like one of the best tag teams. Yeah. Currently in like in, in, in the world. Mm. I'm um, surprised he wouldn't manage the Hardys. Yeah. British Bulldog. I don't know who that is. He's, he's British. And he's a bulldog. That's all you gotta know. Awesome. What was his, What is Dean's other? Considering yesterday's okay. event, this is funny. Oh yeah. Yeah. Boosh. I remember he won the uh, when British Bulldog won the Intercontinental Championship in the UK. Mm-hmm. One of the biggest fucking pops of all time That's in WWE awesome. history. They fucking went crazy. That's awesome. Hold on. Well, how's your hero? Yeah, got him. Um. All right. Connor, hey, Connor, you need to go. I'm sorry, main Connor. event. Favorite main event I've seen. Honestly, that I've seen. Yes. Um, I'd have to say. Uh, I've seen a lot of main events. <laughs> um, one of my favorites is Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. That match is really, really good. Yeah. Despite everyone like not liking Roman Reigns. Yeah. Um, that or. God, hold on, sorry, one second. Oh, you know what? That or. Was this the main event? No. Um, that or, uh, was, was this the main event? I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to, like, uh, it's so hard, because, like, I have matches that I love, but, like, I'm trying to remember if, like, either, well, either of these two was one. the main event. I know. Well, I know my answer for that. I'm trying to think of these uh, different matches that I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to remember if they were the main event of their show. Do you want me to Google it? Um, no. Okay. Um, I don't think... Undertaker v. Shawn Michaels was the was was the main main event of WrestleMania. Okay. I know it was like on there, but I don't. Th- I, I know I, I'm like not entirely sure it was the main event. Um, this, their their second match. You know what? No, I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. Don't don't I know. I know my answer. Sting, okay. by the way. Ooh. Sting. What? Well, what what is answer? Answer is Undertaker. What's this? The main event. God damn. <laughs> I, 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 I'm pr- okay. I am more sure that this was the main event than I am for the other one. Okay. Uh, Undertaker versus Triple H in Hell in a Cell with Shawn Michaels as the referee. Yes. I am ninety percent sure versus that was the main Triple event. Triple yeah. H. Yeah. What? What? Hell in a Cell. Just look up take, Undertaker Triple H Hell in a Cell. Just look, just look that up and you, you'll find it. I know. Um, just go, go. It was end of the era. Look. Uh, if you can find like a. Twenty eight. Is that? It, 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 I assume, yes. Um, um, sorry, hold on. Jack Swagger. If you can find, like, the... Yeah, just look at WrestleMania 28 and then see what the main event was. I'm 90% sure it was that one. Anyway, Jack Swagger, you're bad. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Jack Swagger deserved better. It's like, no, he didn't. He wasn't that good. Go to the results. And you'll find it. It's gonna, yeah. What was the... Um, oh, the, damn it. Wait, it wasn't? It wasn't! Fuck! You sure? Yeah, it wasn't. God damn it. Okay, um... Okay, I got that. Uh, go to the go to the previous WrestleMania. Like go go, go to the very top, and uh, go to like sorry. Okay, while while I'm waiting, go scroll down. Go to like go to this. this? Yeah, and then, and then do it again for the next one. Okay. Um. Go to the top. The Miz. No, go to the top. Go to the top. Go to the, go to the top. Go to the top. I me- I meant hit that. People are gonna hate this. Hit that. Yeah. Okay. And now look, look at the main event for that. What was the main event for this one? Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Okay. Into Q match. That's, that's my favorite. Okay, cool. Bam. Okay, thank right. you. That took forever, but we got it. All right. Okay. Uh, favorite Jesus. match. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. 
in Hell in a Cell at Bad Blood, I believe it was. Bad that, I, I am yeah, yes. What? Because maybe now we got bad blood. <laughs> Thank you. You know we used to be this. mad. Love that doesn't. You know what? Rhyme. I feel it does not. I feel like that was one of the reasons why, because like the Great Balls of Fire was gonna supposed to be bad blood. Like they're mm-hmm. like they're gonna revive bad blood. Yeah. I, I, I get the feeling they might have changed it because of Taylor Swift. That is because people associate associate associate. Yeah. It. Well, I mean they associate Great Balls of Fire with that fucking song. That's true. But then I feel like they would have like, okay, would they rather have that as their as their theme song or Taylor Swift as, as their theme song? That's a very fair point. And fuck Taylor Swift, I really don't like you her. Don't, I know. And um, Brian Halligan hates me for that fact. Whatever. He doesn't hate me, but he's annoyed. He's he's annoyed with me I for that. I would not think he would like Taylor Swift that much. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Okay. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Even if even if it was the main event uh, mm-hmm. of of, the, of Bad Blood, Shawn Michaels was going to take her Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Because one it was it was an awesome, brutal fucking match. Yeah. And also because it was Kane's debut. Oh, that's nice. And it was awesome. Um, oh shit! Favorite oh, indie wrestler. My favorite indie wrestler currently. <clears throat> and, yes. I know anyone else would say Kenny Omega, but I have developed a liking for uh, this British wrestler named Marty Skrull. His gimmick is he's the villain. Like he carries like an umbrella and like has like a fucking like fur jacket and like like circular yeah. glasses. I, I I think his like his like gimmick is awesome and like it's because like everyone because there aren't too many gimmicks these days, especially in indie wrestling. But like yeah. his works and he's a really good wrestler too. So I think he's he's my favorite. Do currently. you remember that article I linked to the other day from like the New York Times or something mm. about um about the, the wrestler called the Progressive Liberal? Yes, yes. He's my favorite indie wrestler. <laughs> I have to look him up to see if he's on YouTube or anything. Somebody gave some chill. More questions. Woo! Woo!